Hi, it's Nick from Nail Couture Lincoln and I'm still in the running to become next top nail artist. That's right, the tribute from the UK is still in it. I can't believe it either. Anyway, this week I really, really enjoyed this challenge. 10 tips sponsored by CND, a mixture of hand painted nail art and 3D work. And it really reminded me of the holidays that we used to go on where you just like throw your clothes in a suitcase, get on a plane and off you went. Now I don't mean before the pandemic, I mean before children. Those were the days. I went to every Greek island going. Skiathos, Sklopolos, Lesbos, Rhodos, Glipflopolos. I think I had a glass of ooze on all of them. And what better way to celebrate than going on holiday than sending the judges a postcard. And that's exactly what I've done this week. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you later. Bye. This week we'll be using CND's new Mediterranean Dream collection. I started by sticking 10 tips to two files that I use for nail art and went over them using clear acrylic. They then got a quick coat of CND shellac gel polish and matte top coat. It's far easier to draw on top of a matte top coat and if you go wrong you can just wipe it off with some alcohol. I just used a regular pencil for this. My inspiration this week came from the beautiful postcards that they sell in the Mediterranean, especially in the tavernas and the local shops. Gel polish is so forgiving for a watercolour effect. If you mix it with a little top coat, it just blends beautifully together. By placing my tips on an old art file, I'm able to move my mixed media piece around easily without touching the artwork. Remember, you can't build up depth for gel polish without curing first. It's not a case of sticking more gel polish on and hoping it gets darker. You've got to build those layers up nice and thin. Using brown Acrogel, I'm going to make my vines. Now, I know at the moment it looks like something that's fallen off Medusa's head, but trust me, it's going to look okay in the end. Just finishing off here with a little bit of gel polish and a matte top coat. Now onto my grapes that I'm going to make with Acrogel. It's really important to wear gloves and to change your gloves after this. It can be very sticky and can give you an allergic reaction very quickly. Using a selection of different acrylic colour powders when creating petals or leaves will give them depth without you having to go over with gel polish. I stuck these on using a little bit of acrylic and built my design up. Just giving these grapes an extra little bit of shine with some top coat and a little bit of purple gel polish. When making 3D work, it's really handy to make it in blue tack first, offer it up to make sure you've got the perspective right. You don't really want something the size of King Kong on there. I'm going to give this a quick file to make sure it's nice and smooth. Then fill it up with rosé, but by the looks of it somebody's already had one glass. Better put the cork back in before someone has another. I made my tablecloth using the famous bacon feather technique. And if you have no idea what that is, go and watch my Phoenix video. This village loaf is made out of polygel. And like with a real bread loaf, I'm dipping the blade in acrylic powder first to stop it sticking. After it cured, I went over with a little gel polish to make it brown up going to need a little basket for my lemons, limes and oranges. I used 4D gel for this but you could use Acrogel if you wanted to. After curing I went over with some CND shellac gel polish to put the detailing in.
A little poly gel was used here to make my lemons, oranges and limes. I stuck them in place using enriched gel. Looks rather tasty on my tablecloth. You can use crafting wire for many things in nail art. I'm going to use this to finish off my vine work. I'm going to stick them on using a little bit of acrylic and then went over with some gel polish. They're copper in colour and the copper's going to shine through. I'm using CND Shellac on a sponge here to build up the texture and the shading for the back of this postcard. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, I know, a stamp. This has been my favourite challenge so far and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully, see you next week. Bye!